This is the 2010 Aston Martin 177. The Aston Martin 177 is equipped with 20-inch, split seven-spoke, aluminum alloy wheels and carbon ceramic brakes.
This is the 2002 Ferrari Enzo. In Italy, you don't take the name of the father in vain. So when Ferrari decided to call this car the Enzo, you knew they had something special in mind. Something that would take supercars onto another level of speed, of handling, of fury. Such fury that after three full ball standing starts, you have to send the car back to Italy for a new clutch. The Ferrari Enzo marked the point at which supercars became like modern fighter jets, demanding complicated electronics to keep them under control. It's computers that keep its 6 litre, 660 brake horsepower V12 and flappy paddle gear shift on speaking turns. And its F1 style adjustable suspension on an even footing. The result is a car that's faster around Ferrari's test track than all but their most recent Formula One cars. The Enzo's V12 went on to even greater things in the insane FXX and the psychotic 599 GTO, both cars that need even more men with laptops to keep them under control. But for Ferrari, the Enzo was Genesis. They only made 399 of them, and then the factory built a 400th for a very particular customer, the Pope. That's how special you have to be to have one. In it. The Enzo's body is designed to maximize downforce. A channel under the nose cone diverts air to the rear diffuser, a trick Ferrari learned from their prodigious racing experience. The Enzo's body is designed... One obvious key to winning races is to avoid overheating. Inlets in the Enzo's nose cone feed cold air to the engine's radiators, while side intakes cool transmission and engine oil temperatures. One obvious... Ferrari turned to renowned design firm Pininfarina to style the Enzo. Pulling cues directly from Ferrari's F1 racers, Pininfarina delivered the most dramatic and functional supercar design the world has ever seen. Ferrari turned to Renault. Can a car be an endangered species? If so, the Ferrari Enzo fits that bill, with only 399 ever made. Of these, over a dozen have already been wrecked by their owners. Fitting for one of the world's most focused supercars, the Enzo's cabin is made for hard days at the track, not cushy comfort. The F1-style steering wheel and carbon fiber racing seats are anything but luxurious.
Fitting for one of the wo Thank you. 